Good day, everybody. I'm forecaster Mark Spencer from NeoWeather.com with your forecast for Friday, January 18, 2013. We'll have mainly cloudy skies today. Temperatures warm up for your Saturday with the bitter cold and even some snow look to return for next week. Get all the details and more starting right now. Taking a look at the Neo the 3D Max Doppler network this morning. Well, not a whole lot going on out there, but we do have something we haven't seen in quite a while now. That's a little bit of lake effect snow, yeah. Uh, really, this isn't coming down very heavy or anything like that. Actually, the only uh, station reporting lake effect snow is the one where the lake effect snow isn't really over, and that's Cleveland Hopkins reporting some light snow this morning. Uh, Berg Lakefront, not reporting any snow, and Cuyahoga County Airport, not reporting any snow. You'd think they would be being under this band. So I think what's happened here is much of this is probably uh, not making it to the ground and what does is just a very little bit. So really not much to worry about here. Uh, cloud wise, we have some low clouds over the area. In some areas though, it there are no clouds. So this is a, a kind of a blotchy cloud kind of effect here this morning. Uh, mainly low clouds that don't come up on this picture very well. We're going to be mostly cloudy today. I think we'll hang on to the low clouds for a good part of the day, but we're going to see some breaks of sun. That'll be the good thing. Um, temperatures this morning, well, yeah, they're chilly, all right, after that cold front came through yesterday. We're at 20 in Ashtabula, 21 downtown Cleveland, 23 I'm sorry, 21 at Hopkins and 23 in downtown Cleveland, uh, 20 at Lorraine, and then we get cold outside of there. 17, Mansfield, Worcester, 19, Akron, Canton Airport, 19, Ravenna, and 16 in Youngstown. Also got a 19 down there in Dover, New Philly as well. Zooming out real quick, taking a look across the rest of the country this morning. Uh, well, we got some lake effect showers here up uh, towards uh, just south of Buffalo and uh, also off of uh, Lake Ontario as well. Very cold up in the Maine. Temperatures well below zero. Quiet along the east coast. Quiet down into the south as well for a change. A little chilly down into uh, Florida, but not too bad. As you get out towards the plains, well, it's been chilly out here uh, for a little bit now, and it's still chilly out there, 20s and 30s thereabouts in the southern and central plains. Not too bad getting up into the northern plains. They're actually a little bit warmer to us in some locations. We do have some snow up along the western Great Lakes, back into Minnesota as well. Temperatures in the teens to single digits. And as you get out towards the west, well, it's still cold out in the mountains. A little chilly along uh, parts of the coast, especially the Pacific Northwest. As you get down into uh, Southern California, yeah, yeah, still a little chilly for their terms in the upper 40s to low mid 50s. Uh, but uh, overall, pretty quiet right now. That pattern is going to change a little bit. And we're going to talk about some very cold air that's going to be coming down from Canada. Yeah, we're looking at this cold air aloft. Moving down our way, we'll detail all that here in just a minute. Taking a look at the Almanac for today, the high yesterday was 37, the low was 32, our average high is 34, the average low 21. The record high on this day, believe it or not, was 64, and the record low was minus 14. Only two years difference between the record high and low. Uh, no precipitation for yesterday, we're at uh, 0.93 inches for the month in the year. Sun rises at 7.49 a.m. and sunset at 5.26 p.m. We want to take a quick look at the temperatures aloft next week. We're talking about a major cool down coming in uh, for much of next week. So these are the temperatures at about 5,000 feet aloft. You can see how very, very cold it's going to get. So here we go. The pink is really cold air. We're talking well below zero temperatures here. And you can just see this moving in to uh, much of the Great Lakes, down into Ohio, even getting down into uh, Virginia as well, getting very cold, very, very cold air up into the Hudson Bay area of Canada. So this moves across, and then we're going to see the slight warm-up start nudging in from the southwest here. There it is right there at St. Louis, comes up towards Ohio. That's about Thursday next week, and then round two of the cold air noses back in late next week and the next weekend as we hit an yet another round of cooler air. I think that won't be quite as cold as what is going to be here this week, but it is going to be cold for a good part of next week. All right, taking a look at the forecast for today. It will be mainly cloudy today with a high of 31. Winds will be out of the southwest at around 8 to 12 miles per hour. So again, the wind out there will make it feel a little chilly. We'll see some sun from time to time. 
but I think otherwise we're going to have more clouds and sun. Start your morning off around 8 a.m. and 20 degrees, 23 by 11 a.m., 27 by 2 p.m. or up to 31 at 5 p.m. Overnight tonight, well, temperatures aren't going to go very far. They're going to pretty much uh, vary between about 27 and 30 degrees. So we'll call it about uh, 28. Winds pick up out of the southwest at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. And uh, we'll be pretty much, again, in the uh, upper 20s to right around 30 much of the night with partly cloudy skies. Taking a look at the next seven days, the winds definitely increase on Saturday as uh, that front, that big, uh, strong cold front approaches us. But we'll be warm for Saturday, partly cloudy and breezy, 45 by about um, early morning Saturday. We could start seeing some uh, rain, maybe mixing with some snow by daybreak. And then in the Sunday, I think temperatures will keep coming down a few more degrees. It'll be about 25 on Sunday if you're high, mainly cloudy, and some scattered snow showers. Snow picks up a little bit Sunday and into Monday, mainly in the form of lake effect snow. And look at our high Monday, 18. That's it. We dropped to 8 Monday night. And we're at 16 for our high. Yeah, 16 in the high Tuesday with widely scattered lake effect snow showers. We dropped down into single digits once again Tuesday night. By Wednesday, it's a little warmer. We're at least in the low 20s with a sun and cloud mix across the region. And by Thursday, there's that warm-up we saw just a moment ago uh, that I talked about. Uh, 36 for your Thursday. Clouds will increase through the day with late-day rain as yet that another cold front, another shot of cold air comes barely in towards Ohio for the end of next week. I'm forecaster Mark Spencer. Thank you for watching. Stay up to date with the latest weather at NeoWeather.com. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. NeoWeather.com, Ohio's home for weather.